about different language, different um, uh, countries' culture, just basically everything about that country and their how they speak. I think bilingual education is uh, education provided in uh, two different languages, and uh, so that better students knowing not knowing English can also understand what they're studying. I had to guess what bilingual education was. It's education in two languages, so I guess a class taught in two languages. We're learning today. Um, I think bilingual education is when you're fluent in different languages. Um, maybe like taking um, a Spanish class in high school and becoming fluent in that language. When a student is taught uh, a second language through like a classroom setting and multiple different subjects. My experience learning a second language was not much. Um, the Spanish program was not good. I am in Spanish honors and I can't tell you one thing about Spanish. <laughs> I had a pretty good um, experience with it in high school. Um, I learned German in high school and I learned it from freshman year to senior year. And the reason I decided to do that was because I have family and well, I, my grandmother came from Germany so I was just very interested in the country. And I just like, really liked learning about um, how their culture was and how it varied from the American culture. Learning a new language has always been fascinating for me. Like when I lang uh, learned the language of Malayalam, which is a ma native language in my country. So it was like very fascinating to know a new language and communicating in that language with that sort of people. So yeah, it was very fascinating. I took three Spanish courses in high school because that was our requirement and um, I learned a lot from taking the class. You know, I could say a little bit in Spanish, but since I haven't taken any of those classes since high school and now that I'm a junior in college, I don't really recall much of what I learned. Uh, the difference between bilingual education and language immersion in school, I think is just bilingual language Education is teaching people the languages and immersion is getting people accustomed to them in school. To be honest, I don't really know. I think bilingual education is uh, teaching in two different languages, but yeah, making students comfortable in their own language, but language immersion as of teaching the language to students and then teaching them in that language so that the students already know the language and like can interact in that language too. So yeah, I think that's it. Education is like learning two languages, like being taught, I guess, and language immersion would be if I just started talking to you in Spanish, I guess, and like, you had to pick up about it now. With language immersion, I would say that would be like, um, I guess, immigrants coming to America and having to learn like English in different subjects at school. So we'll have like, I remember Spanish kids like being in my classes and not being fluent in English yet, but they still had to learn um, that subject in English because that will be their secondary language since they came to America. I think the U.S. should be required to be on the same standards as other countries just because we're already so far behind on everything else that being caught up in teaching a language and making that a standard would make it so much easier to integrate and let people learn. I guess it really depends on the situation, but personally I think it does because I think it's just really important to kind of learn about like something other than your own language just because there's so many different people in this world that speak different languages. So you kind of like, I feel like it's just nice to have like another understanding of what that's all about. I think uh, English is majorly spoken in the U.S., so I don't think it is that essential to be bilingual. Like, I don't know Spanish, Spanish or uh, any other language is spoken in the U.S., but yeah, I'm managing fine here, so I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's as essential to be um, bilingual in America as it is in other countries, because in America we all pretty much speak English, so there's no point in being bilingual unless one wants to. Um, yes and no, because it's um, important because America is essentially the melting pot country and I think it's a good idea to know a different language because there's lots of immigrants, but um, not as important as maybe a European country where there's a bunch of different uh, languages all surrounding each other. If I were to incorporate bilingual 
classes into a college course. I would probably just make it one class just because getting everybody on the same level of a language, especially coming from all different parts of the country, from the state, I know everybody's on different levels. So I think start off with one class, and if you go past that class and you do well in it, then you can start going into half a day of bilingual language in normal. So yeah, if I was given the choice, I would like uh, take, if I being an international student would take into consideration people coming from different countries and see what language they are comfortable with and like uh, initiate a program where I can teach in their language too and the rest up in English so that they get more comfortable with English too in the course of time. So, yeah. um, if I was to implement a program, I'd probably start at the elementary level just because um, that's when I started learning Spanish and I think if, like it was more of the day learning another language than the time I got, which was like an hour twice a week, then I would have come away with a lot more Spanish than I did. So that I would implement a stronger half-day Spanish program in elementary schools. If I had to develop a bilingual education program, um, I would implement it by um, starting the classes for younger age students. So they would start at like an elementary school and um, go all the way up to college to give them more time to actually learn that language and be fluent in that language. And I would also make the class periods longer so they can retain more information every day. Other than like in high school, my class was like 50 minutes. It was just one period. Um, I'd make sure I split it up to where I was teaching one subject in English one day and then the same subject in a different language the other day because that way you kind of get an idea of how the course is in both languages, whereas if you taught the same su subject in a foreign language each day, if someone's confused, they're not really going to catch on. So in completing this process, we found a lot of things to be surprising, and there were also some other things that weren't as surprising. So for some of the things that weren't as surprising, we saw that the responses about um, implementing a bilingual education program, a lot of those focused on implementing them at the elementary level, which wasn't very surprising because all the times we learned about studies stating that children learn and retain things a lot um, faster and easier than adults, so we just found that to be um, not so surprising. And then also the definition of bilingual education, just looking at the stem of the word, we figured a lot of people would state that it's just about learning two different languages. And then also we found it interesting about uh, people's responses about their basic experiences. So the experiences that they had learning another language was very basic, um, straight to the point, just kind of learning it in high school, taking one class. And a lot of people mentioned that they took Spanish, which wasn't very surprising because usually in the public school system, you're taking Spanish or French. And um, some of the things that we did find surprising were um, the fact that so many people said that um, learning uh, a bilingual education system was not essential in the U.S. And um, that's super surprising because of all the immigration going on and how many people come to America who aren't fluent in English and things like that. So that was very surprising to see. And also um, with how many people were engaged with the process that they came up with in developing a bilingual program, um, that was good to see. Um, and hear about the thoughts that they could come up with. And we didn't expect for it to be that, um, I guess, engaging with the things that they could come up with because they're not very um, educated on this stuff. Yeah, so overall, it was an interesting process to see all the responses. So we hope you all enjoyed them.